expect a miracle? It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. So, you need to have a healthy, independent relationship with yourself. Now, why talk shit at all? And there are predatory people out there looking to capitalize on that. Welcome to a brand new episode of Ill Killers Punditry. Now, why talk shit at all? Well, there are things going on in the spiritual community, and they have always been going on, that are harmful. And there are other things going on that just add to the confusion that's already there. And there are things that are just like time wasters, fillers. So I think it's a good thing to have an open conversation about that. If you don't agree with my opinion, just let me know. I'm open to discuss. It's not about dragging anybody. Why not? We're all on first name terms here. This is a friendly island. It's about, is this content adding value? That's what it's about. I'm gonna put up on the screen the text of two popular posts. And I do want to emphasize these are really popular. These are seven, eight thousand like trending posts. So not some obscure post in an obscure reference that I just pulled up to get some freak ass results. Is there something wrong with these posts? Not necessarily. I can totally imagine a person coming across this and it gives a little positive boost to their day. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If this is the dominating spiritual content on social media, which it is, I do think it's a problem. I've been active in the spiritual world for 20 years and if it's really hard for me to find quality spiritual content, which it is, it must be way harder for someone that's just dipping their toe into it. It reminds me of the spiritual fairs in my country. I've participated in them myself and yes, there are people there who offer quality, but for a large part, it's grown-ups playing dress up trying to look more like a fortune teller out of the movies than the guy on the next stand. An old friend of mine described it best. Here's 15 bucks. Tell me everything's going to be fine. And that's really what's taking place here. And I've seen it time and time again. The only reason this type of content, if it comes in the form of somebody playing dress up or somebody posting, it's 11 past 11. Expect a miracle! The only reason that this content is popular is because people prefer a quick fix over making a big effort. And there are predatory people out there looking to capitalize on that. So buyer beware is what I'm saying. I don't think it's adding a lot of, lot of value. If you don't agree, let me know. On to this week's question. Could being too emotionally connected be a reason to break up for the other person? For every mature relationship goes that you need to have a healthy, independent relationship with yourself before you can make a healthy connection to another. The answer to the question is yes, because being too emotionally connected is not a thing. Let me try to break it down for you. You can have an emotional connection with someone, that's fine. Someone can have an emotional connection with you. Plus, the connection can be from both sides. Even though there can be a connection from both sides, both have to be open to it and want it. So when only one person wants that connection, we wouldn't speak of too emotionally connected. We would speak of a one-sided interest. Being emotional about everything all the time can be exhausting for others, but also for yourself. Now, in between somebody not wanting an emotional connection with you and you being emotional about everything all the time, there is a spectrum and you most likely find yourself on that spectrum. If you were solely having a strong emotional connection to someone, nobody would have a problem with that because that's your personal experience and how would anybody else even know? So another might have taken some issue in how you have expressed that emotional connection. And that brings me back to my opening statement. 
When you have a strong and stable connection with yourself, you won't have a disturbing emotional influence on another. So I strongly suspect that you have some work to do in finding some emotional healing and building a stronger foundation. Now you can do some emotional healing with the big emotion block on illkiller.com. You can also work on creating a stronger foundation with the free grounding workshop also on illkiller.com. Having a strong emotional awareness could make you like a ninja that always knows what's going on. But you will have to be able to handle that information. It's time for a laugh. Now, this post was absolutely hysterical to me. I thought it was so funny. And it also reminded me of a bit from my favorite stand-up comedian, Doc Stanhope. And that bit was mentally ill versus mentally challenged. So if you want to have a laugh after this, please check out my favorite comedian, Doc Stanhope. Now, before I leave you with the last beautiful post of this week, thank you so much for watching the episode. Please subscribe to my channels, upvote, remind. I'm so happy with all the support I've been getting and all the positive reactions to the show really warms my heart. I'll be here back again next week. If you want to have more of my content, please go to illkiller.com to help you process emotions or build that strong foundation. I see you again next week. Bye.